Yo, what's up, guys? I'm gonna video in today, man. Coming at y'all with the worst draft projections of all time. I'll be going through NBADraftRoom.com and looking at literally, quite literally, the worst draft day projections of all time, comparing draft prospects to current NBA players. And I'm telling you, these takes, these comparisons, these comps are out of this world far-fetched and just flat out horrendous so with the nba draft about to come in i believe 16 days i believe it is july 29th what better way to start off the nba draft month than looking back at some of the worst draft day comps of all time but other than that let's get straight into the video all right so the first one is from the 2019 nba draft jared culver was compared to kendall gill but that's not it he was compared to almost Paul Pierce. Jared Culver and Paul Pierce are literally nowhere near each other, okay? I honestly don't know what this comparison is. Just know that it's absolutely horrible. And we should never compare Jared Culver to Paul Pierce, okay? Let's just stop it right there. Man, Marvin Bagley, man. I feel like this guy just gets a lot of hate, but hey, he had to be in this video. As Bagley's comp was Kevin Garnett and Michael Beasley. Wait, first things first. How do you go from Kevin Garnett all the way up here to Michael Beasley all the way down here, okay? But Bagley, obviously nowhere near KG. Never will be anywhere near KG. And they play different games. Bagley plays so different from Kevin Garnett. What are these comparisons? Literally, what are these comparisons? Now, literally, right after that, when we have Luca's comparison, which is Rubio and Mike Miller, how do you look and study Luca's game and say, Oh, that looks like the modern version of Mike Miller, a guy that was just known for shooting threes all game and bringing next to nothing on the court? Okay, how was Luca anywhere near Mike Miller? Like, Luka is nowhere near a knockdown elite sniper, three-point shooter like Mike Miller was. So what is this comparison? Then you have him compared to Rubio as well, okay? Now, Rubio, obviously, great playmaker just like Luka, but Luka watches Rubio in terms of scoring-wise, and if you watched him overseas, you know that he was going to be at least good and better than Rubio. So I don't know why you would compare him to Rubio, knowing that he's a better scorer than Rubio, even though they both are great playmakers. And again... Comparing him to Mike Miller is just honestly just messed up, okay? Like, imagine comparing Luka Doncic to Mike Miller. That's just a slap in the face to Luka. Like, come on, man. Come on now. And then we have the Fortnite guy, man. The guy that went to the NBA draft just in a Fortnite suit. Kevin Knox, who has been a bust. And his comparison on draft day was to Paul George, PG-13 star player in the league oh, man kevin knox out of kentucky had a good amount of hype five star recruit and he's just been absolutely just horrible in the nba and has been nowhere to be found barely getting any minutes and just being an absolute bust and comparing him to paul george it's just a slap in the face of paul george and highly disrespectful next we got markel fultz being compared to russell westbrook again it's talking about Markel Fultz and Russell Westbrook's games. How do they correlate? How are they similar? And where does the comparison come from? Fultz was a shooting point guard, and Russ is just gifted athleticism wise and uses his strength and ups to just dominate the game of basketball. Where do you see that in Markel Fultz? Literally, don't get this whatsoever. And then they compared Josh Jackson was an absolute buzz from the Suns to Tracy McGrady and Clyde Drexler. Really two of the greatest shooting guards of all time being compared in the same sentence as Josh Jackson. Like at this point, this just has to be a troll, okay? You can't just go out and compare Josh Jackson to Tracy McGrady and Clyde Drexler, okay? Please stop it right there. And then next we have Balik Monk, who also was compared to Kobe Bryant and Bradley Beal, Zach Levine, literally three great shooting guards in Balik Monk. A great score, but instead of that, he is nowhere near Kobe, Beal, and Levine. 
All he does is score, and he does that very inconsistently. If I compare him to Kobe, Bill, and Levine, I don't know why. And then we have Dragon Bender from Croatia. The Phoenix Suns bus being compared to Lakers legend Pau Gasol. Again, so disrespectful to Pau Gasol to put him in the same sentence as Dragon Bender, who was literally a bust, okay? Bender was so bad in the leagues, we're literally a poverty franchise before the season. And they even let go of Dragon Bender because he was that bad. And then we have NBA Draft from comparing him to Pau Gasol. Like, man, oh man. I don't know what this is. Kevon Looney being compared to Paul George. Like, I'm, I'm convinced that whoever wrote this just doesn't watch basketball. Kevon Looney is a center who doesn't shoot, stays in the paint, grabs rebounds, and just gets alley-oops or paint shots. How is that comparable to Paul George? It's an ISO player, shoots threes, ferocious, dunks, great defender, decent playmaker. How does that compare to Kevin Looney? Like I said, stays in the paint on game and is a decent center, okay? Paul George is a star player. In the same year, he almost won MVP in DPOY with the Thunder, and you're comparing him to your average center in Kevin Looney, okay? Do you watch basketball, okay? You even watch basketball, okay? Because what is this horrible, outlandish, far-fetched take, okay? What is this take? Next, we have Jabari Parker, who I believe tore both of his ACOs uh, with the Bucks. Came back this year with the Celtics, was pretty decent for them. But his comparison was Paul Pierce, last Melo. Now, coming out of high school, even coming into Duke, even going to the league, Jabari Parker was so hyped. Literally, I believe he was top at least three for the best player in this draft class with him and Wiggins and Joel Embiid. They had so much, so much high coming to the season. Parker played great in high school, played great in college. The only thing is, coming to the league, he played great, honestly. I believe one of his years in the league, he averaged over 20 points per game with the Bucks when they were bad. And then he tore his ACL not once, but twice. And after that, he fell off the face of the platform. It was just a shell of his former self. It was an NBA afterthought. But the thing is, Parker was actually good, okay? Watching him at Duke, watching him with the Bucks early on to his career, he was actually really good, and the hype was deserving. But now, just seeing him being compared to Paul Pierce as Melo is just mind-boggling, man. Just complete mind-boggling. And right after this, we see Dante Exum being compared to Russell Westbrook and Kobe. Again, how do you watch Dante Exum's game and say, hmm, that reminds me of the modern day Kobe Bryant? Like, what? Then Westbrook, again, how do you look at Exum, a tall point guard, and say, hmm, that is the modern day Westbrook, okay? Like, what? Like, I'm so confused about that take. And next, we got Ben McLemore being compared to J.R. Smith, which isn't bad. But then they add on Vince Carter. How do you go from J.R. Smith to Vince Carter, okay? Vince Carter, who in his prime, probably is the best dunker of all time. Team explosive, great shooter. You compare him to Ben McLemore, man. Shaking my head, man. Shaking my head. What is this comparison? And <laughs> why did they spell Giannis name like this? Giannis Adokubo being compared to a taller Scottie Pippen. Again, how do you look at Giannis' game and decipher Pippen's game and say, hmm, this is the modern day Pippen. Like, both of your defenders, but Pippen obviously is a better shooter. Giannis probably is the better scorer of the two, better playmaker of the two, better rebounder of the two, and you compare him to Pippen and spelling his name just utterly wrong. I do not get this whatsoever. And what is this comparison? The Natus Mate Hunis of the Rockets compared to Dirk Nowitzki. I mean, they're both European, they're both like seven footers, but come on. How does the Natus Mate Hunis resemble Dirk Nowitzki's game? Dirk be one of the best power forwards of all time, being compared to Mate Hunis. Highly offensive and highly disrespectful. Just having Mate Hunis being compared to Dirk is just highly offensive. Like, come on. Never bring up Mate Hunis. And the same type that does Dirk 
ever in your life okay what is this comparison all right next we got paul george being compared to trevor ariza i mean both good 3 and D players but pg obviously brings a lot more than that playmaking and rebounding wise as well as a star player Ariza was pretty good in his quote-unquote prime but come on pg washes Ariza with ease and he's a way better scorer way better defender and just does everything just like quadruple the amount of times that Ariza can because he's just simply that much better and this comparison is just flat out horrendous and the last draft that comparison is luke babbitt being compared to andre kirilenko aka a great 3 and d player being compared to luke babbitt a guy that's known just for shooting threes and doing nothing else okay how do you compare a great defender a great shooter kirilenko to luke babbitt like these comparisons have to be a literal signal because what are these comparisons man what are these comparisons but other than that yo that is the video set of going down below drop a like comment down below what was the worst draft day comparison for today's video comment down below i want to see what you guys think about that but other than that y'all see your boy john hope you guys did the video and i'm out man peace